I'm going to be attempting to beat Terraria using only items that start with letter A. Real quick, let's go over the rules for this challenge. The goal is to defeat the final boss, Moon Lord, while all weapons, armor, accessories, consumables, and reforges that I use must begin with letter A. And I also will not be placing any blocks or walls that don't start with A. However, I will be allowed to use life crystals, mana stars, crafting stations, tools, and any item is allowed as a crafting material. Will this even be possible? Let's find out. It started off the same as pretty much any playthrough, just chopping trees and gathering basic resources. And because there's only one torch that starts with the letter A, and that's the Aether Torch, I'm gonna allow myself to use torches until I can get to that point in the game. Because otherwise I won't be able to see and you won't be able to see. And one of the first things I need to do is I need to get to the underworld so I can actually place blocks because there's actually not a lot of blocks in this game that start with A. The main one being ash blocks in the underworld so I need to get there as soon as possible. And then after a long mining session I eventually found some amethyst which will be very useful for crafting myself an amethyst grappling hook which will be very nice for movement early on because I'm not going to have access to a lot of accessories you would normally have. Then I finally finished up digging all the way down to the underworld. Ah, oh, finally. I want to get as much of this now as I can, because I don't know how long it'll be before I come back down here. Then I had a little oopsie. Oh no. Fire bat. Fire bat. Fire bat alert. Thank you, poo poo. The problem right now is I really don't even have a good weapon. All I still have is the stupid sword and then the pickaxe, which does slightly more damage. So I'm actually going to pillar up. I'm just going to keep climbing up this pillar and jumping off and letting myself die and then once I get enough graveyards here it'll create a graveyard biome and then I'll get a chance to get a pretty good weapon. Now that I have this graveyard biome there's a chance that a weapon will spawn next to these graves so I will come back later and check that out. And then after a short venture over to the jungle I stumbled upon an anklet of the wind which will be a very nice movement accessory. Then after coming home I see that there's a little flower growing next to the graves so I mine that and I get myself an abgal flower which is just a nice little summon to follow around and do a little bit extra damage. Then I went back to the jungle to gather some materials that I need to craft the next weapon which I will be using for the next good bit of time. To craft this weapon I was going to need 12 stingers, 9 jungle spores, and a vine. The jungle spores and vine were too hard to get but the stingers were taking quite a while because I needed to kill a lot of hornets and I didn't deal hardly any damage so I was just kind of sitting there and letting my Annabelle do all the work. Come on. Yes, he dropped the stinger. All right, I saved an exit to get back to spawn and I can finally get my first weapon, Amazon. This is gonna be a massive upgrade from just using the pickaxe and the copper sword sword. Let's just throw that away. The damage that I do is so much better now that I am actually have a weapon rather than just swinging my pickaxe. Up until this point, I hadn't built any homes for NPCs to spawn in because I didn't have wood, which you need to make a background. So I headed closer to the edge of the map to build a elevator so I could finally get some wood and finally get houses for NPCs. And we can finally get some wood. There we go, ash wood. And then I found out that you can actually plant these trees. So I set up a little ash thing up at the surface and planted a little bit of grass. I then proceeded to build the first houses with the newly gotten wood. I think it's time to summon my first boss. So we're just going to go for the eye of Cthulhu. So we're going to see what happens here. I feel like this Amazon should make pretty short work of this guy. Yeah, we're shredding this boss here. Thankfully, this isn't master mode, so it doesn't blitz out and go 300 miles an hour. But there it is, our first boss defeated. Then after conquering our first boss, I headed over to the other side of the world and dug yet another hole down so I could access the aether to convert my torches into aether torches. Throw my torches in there and they will come out as aether torches. There we go. Now we're following the rules a little better. All right, now I'm going to head down into the crimson and set up for my next boss fight. All right, now I just got to break this and the boss will spawn. And now I need to be quickly try and get out of here before I get eaten alive. Ooh, this is a bad start. I don't know how this boss fight's going to go. I also can't eat health potions, which would help out quite a bit. Okay, that was the last eye. And this is going pretty smoothly. Going pretty well. Almost got it down. Almost there. 
Wow, that was not too bad, not too bad. After defeating the brain of Cthulhu, I added on some more housing and prepared for the next boss. All right, it just turned night, so I'm gonna try and beat Skeletron now. So here we go. Not gonna have the very good movement, which is gonna be our main issue. We don't have double jump even, so I can't even reach some of these platforms. Probably should have put more platforms in there, but we'll just see how this thing goes. Yeah, movement is just such an issue. I don't move very quickly and I don't have double jump. Ah, uh, I'm not easy. Ow. Oh, I keep taking unnecessary damage. Why did I jump there? I don't think I'm gonna have this one here. Come on. 800 health left for him. Come on. I think we might have him. I think we might have him. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Only a little bit left. Oof. Oh no. 25 health left. Oh yes, we got him. Let's go. Alright, so I've just spent a bunch of time preparing the arena for the Wall of Flesh. I'm not sure if it's going to be long enough, but there's only one way to find out. So, we're going to lob him out here and hope we have enough space on the arena. And I don't know if I'm even going to be able to move quick enough because I only have one accessory on. So that could be a problem. And these hungries are kind of an issue right now. Kind of an issue. I have to get rid of all these guys before I can really even get close. Already getting kind of low on health, which is not something you'd like to see, considering the fight has only just begun. I'm hoping once I can get rid of the hungry, it'll get easier, but I don't think it's going to be the case. Ah, I'm almost dead. This is not going well at all. I will grab those health. I think it'll be worth it. Finally start... Yeah... Yeah, I needed to figure something out there. So I kept trying quite a few times and the main issue was just the yo-yo did not have a lot of range and that made it extremely difficult to dodge lasers and whatnot. So I thought I'd try to get a new weapon that might give me more range, the Ale Tosser, which has a 16% chance to drop from the Tavern Keep. So I constructed a little house in the underworld with a lava pit underneath and proceeded to drop him to his death quite a few times. And after a short break of fighting a goblin army, nice, we got it cleared out. So now we're gonna have a chance to find the goblin tinkerer underground. It was back to killing time. Please drop it. I really want you to drop the weapon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he dropped it. Finally, that was not a fun grind at all. All right, so now I'm curious how this ale tosser is gonna do. So let's just uh, kind of try it out. I mean, doesn't seem like it's going to be great for that. Hmm. Its attack speed is a little bit slower than I'd like, but it might allow me, when I'm fighting the Wall of Flesh, to get a little bit further back. I'm not sure if it's going to be better than the Yo-Yo, so I guess we're just going to have to try it out here to see what happens. So, it doesn't throw very far is the problem. I mean, it's decent, but not great. It's basically the same range as my Yo-Yo. Just a little bit further. But its damage is not as good, I'm pretty sure. If it had splash damage, it would actually be pretty solid, I think. But it only is hitting one enemy at a time, so... I think it was kind of a colossal waste of time for me going for this. Ah, we're dead. Alright, I've tried the Wall of Flesh fight quite a few times, and I fail miserably every time. The closest I got was like half health, so I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with my current setup. So I have one last thing I can try, so I just need to head to the dungeon. So I make it to the dungeon, and then this happens. Oh no, I'm going to die. That was not good. Oh my word, I'm already dead. And then the second time, I make it back and I do something pretty stupid. Oh my word, why did I do that? And surely I wouldn't die to the same trap three times in a row, right? Then I make it back for a fourth time and am finally able to explore the dungeon and look for some chest. And there we go. We got the Aqua Scepter. That was the weapon I was after. Well, let's just test this thing out to see how well it does on just some regular mobs. So that's actually really good. I feel like this is going to make this fight kind of trivial almost. 
All right, now we're going to try the wall of flesh again here, and I'm pretty sure this is going to go so much smoother. It's going to be crazy, because I'm just going to be able to stand way back and hurl all these water bolts, and, and they even pierce? That's crazy. Yeah, we're dead there, but that's fine, that's fine. 1500 health left. I'm actually about to die here. I really want to get this. Oh my word, I failed again. Come on. I don't know. We're getting- we actually are really close here. We're really close. It only has a little health left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, come on. Yes! Finally, let's go. And with that, we are now in hard mode. And that is the end of the video, so stay tuned to see if I can beat this challenge in part two.